Well, 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 we're back again with... Well, it's not a no-fluff analysis this time. Actually, I wanted to discuss something a bit more fluffy. That is a police siren in the background. But anyway, my expectations for Master Kai Yan that we'll be seeing at the end of the month. So in order to really set the context for my discussion, we're going to want to talk about Expert Kai Yan at the moment. Expert Kai Yan speed compositions are mostly a mix of Gala Alex and Gala Cleo. Gala Alex pumps out a huge amount of personal DPS, whereas Gala Cleo is a really strong support with excellent personal DPS as well. And then not to mention that she gets an intermittent regen from her S2. And the way the expert Kayan fight at the moment turns out is you generally end up skipping most of the mechanics. Like the first stack marker with enough DPS, you just end up skipping it entirely. Then you just go into phase two and you dragon tank the explosion there as well. And then with enough DPS, you actually just skip through most of the phases, blow up most of the mechanics in literal seconds. And then when there's actually unavoidable damage, well, you just hop into your dragon form and you tank that with a skill as well, just to sacrifice it as soon as possible. So when it comes to Master Kayan, Cygames has the potentially difficult job of balancing the fight around non-limited characters while still not making it completely trivial for Gala, Alex, and Cleo compositions. To be honest, I'm not sure if that's, in- that's like entirely possible. Simply inflating Kayan's health pool just so Gala Alex can't blow through it with Kachi also penalises other characters in the same way. Personally, I think it might make sense to increase Kayan's unavoidable damage output to the point where you can't just dragon tank everything and you have to rely on like patio defensive buffs or some combination of defensive and or healing skills. Therein comes another problem. In order to make the fight seem like less of a slog due to being forced to bring defensive options, Psygames may be tempted to reduce the amount of hit points that Master Kayan has. So that opens the fight to potential cheese strategies, potentially math strategies, we'd have to see. In the end, I don't think much is going to change. Like, the current expert climate is either a mix of Gala Cleo and Gala Alex, or just a mash of most of the upper end of the shadow cast and a healer. Master's probably going to mirror this, because I don't think it's really possible to implement fight mechanics that punish the Gala roster more than the rest of the cast. So we're dealing with like this gentle, precarious balance between increasing the amount of damage that he deals to force you to bring defensive options, and then the amount of health that he has as well. And if you increase both of those too much, then you'll end up making Master Kayan like a fight that takes six to seven minutes. And nobody enjoys those fights. Well, I'd be pleasantly surprised if it ends up not being the case, but from Gala Cleo onwards, like the power creep, you know, the rest new shadow cast had to really match that. So from Gala Cleo onwards, like the damage was already done. Well, this is kind of a short short discussion really. Like, I am fairly pessimistic about the whole situation. I recognise that I'm pretty lucky in terms of already having Gala Cleo, Gala Alex, Catchy, but for newer players, I'm fairly worried. And with that, I'd also like to hear your thoughts on these things. Like, how would you guys and girls attempt to make the fight more difficult for the Gala roster? Do you think that your proposed changes would make it more difficult for the Gala roster than the rest of the cast? For example, like, Supreme Spears in Kayan kind of punishes Gala Cleo a bit because it forces her ancient ray to spread out among the spears. But, you know, that's kind of trivial. Like, it makes it take like an extra 10 to 15 seconds. And still, even the rest of the cast has to like run towards those spears and, you know, isolate them to burst them down or whatever. So, it makes it slightly aw- awkward for Gala Cleo, but makes it awkward for everyone else as well. Man, I went on a tangent there. Anyway, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Master Kayan, like whether you want to do anything differently, or whether you're just going to run at it with Gala Alex and Umbrella Razor it into a non-existence or something. Yeah, thank you guys very much for watching, listening to me ramble, and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Stay safe, take it easy, and I'll see you next time.